Welcome to the module for Microsoft Teams on using the Teamwork Microsoft Graph endpoint to work with Microsoft Teams through an API. Hi, I'm Andrew Connell. I'm a Microsoft MVP in the area of Microsoft 365 development. I have a lot of experience with SharePoint development, Microsoft Graph, Microsoft Teams, developing add-ins for Microsoft Office, as well as developing applications for Microsoft Identity, including Azure Active Directory. This video is the first in a series of videos on this Microsoft Learning Module. This video is also part of a playlist that includes all the videos that are associated with this module so you can watch them in order. The playlist and all its included videos are associated with a Microsoft Learning Module that includes hands-on lab exercises and additional resources. Check the notes for this video and the associated playlist for more information and where to find the Microsoft Learning Module. Okay, let's get started. Microsoft Teams is the ultimate hub for teamwork and intelligent communications. Microsoft Teams delivers chat-based collaboration, meetings, calling, and enterprise voice features. Developers can tap into the power of Microsoft Teams with Microsoft Graph to integrate your custom applications. In this module, we're gonna see how to use the Microsoft Graph to interact with Microsoft Teams through the Graph's teamwork endpoint. Microsoft Graph can be used to integrate your custom applications and processes. Developers can use Microsoft Graph to create new teams and channels, install apps in new teams, and pin apps to a tab in new channels, among many other things. In this first section, we're gonna learn how to create an application that interacts with Microsoft Teams using Microsoft Graph. And we're also gonna talk about protected APIs in Microsoft Teams. Well, let's start by asking the question, why should you even integrate with Microsoft Teams? You can use Microsoft Graph to create a new virtual team when new business issues arise add the right people to the team, and configure the team with channels, tabs, and apps. If you want to get the new team together to discuss the business issue, add a new event to the team calendar. When the business issue is resolved and you no longer need the team, use the Microsoft Teams API to archive or delete the team. If you know the maximum duration of the team when you create it, Set the Microsoft 365 group expiration policy for the team that automatically removes the team according to the policy. Use the application permissions to work with teams, channels, and tabs without human intervention. Create a new channel when your customer files an order or automatically create teams for classes at the beginning of the school year and archive them at the end of the school year. You can also let customers create new teams and channels, install your teams app in the new teams you can pin your app to a tab in the channel. You can send messages to the channel, linking back to your website. And Microsoft Graph makes it easy to also create large numbers of teams and populate them with users and channels by automating the creation and management of teams, channels, tabs, and apps. Microsoft Graph also lets you find and archive the teams you're no longer using. And this is the same API that Microsoft Teams Admin Center and Teams PowerShell commandlets are built on. You can list the teams in your tenant and install apps into them. You can create tabs and channels to give users easy access to apps. And then Microsoft Teams apps give work groups a new tool to make collaboration a more productive and compelling experience. These apps let work group users share assets, interact through chat, and schedule events on the same team calendar. These apps can also automate creating teams, channels, and conversations, enhancing the value of Microsoft Teams. You can create websites, services, and native platform applications that run outside the Microsoft Teams user experience. And you can call the Teams API to automate team scenarios. These collaboration tools include Microsoft Graph enabled tabs or bots running inside of Microsoft Teams apps. And you can also call Microsoft Graph outside of a Microsoft Teams app, such as from a website or a web service. If you've already en enabled your website for Microsoft Graph, you can use that work from Microsoft Teams by using the Microsoft Teams developer platform to create a tab that uses the existing website code. Microsoft Teams supports subscribing to changes, such as create, update, and delete, to messages and channels and chats to allow apps to get near instant updates. Microsoft Graph is really your gateway to Microsoft 365, not just for Microsoft Teams. It's a single resource that proxies multiple Microsoft services, and it also simplifies token acquisition and management instead of having to go to Azure AD to obtain an access token for each of the different endpoints for different Microsoft services. You can just go to Microsoft Graph and let it handle all of that for you. It also eliminates the need for traditional discovery. 
using the me endpoint and the my organization endpoint just to get to your relevant information. And it also allows for easy traversal of objects and relationships, being able to jump between a user, their calendar events, the documents that they're working on, and then other users that are also working on that document instead of having to go to multiple endpoints to find that information in a true graph scenario. There's a couple different ways that you can access the Microsoft Graph. You can do direct REST API interaction where you can use any platform, any language, and any framework, or you can use one of the various native SDKs that are made available by the Microsoft Graph team. This allows you to use, utilize a specific framework and platform implementations, and it also abstracts the details of constructing and processing REST requests over HTTP. There are SDKs for .NET, iOS, Android, PHP, Ruby, and so many more. Now let's look at Microsoft's Graph Teamwork Endpoint for Microsoft Teams. You can use the Microsoft Teams API and Microsoft Graph to create teams in multiple ways. All teams are backed by a Microsoft 365 group. The quickest way to get your team up and running when you create a new team with Microsoft Graph is to set up a new Microsoft 365 group, set all the owners and members, and then convert that group to a team. When creating a new team for a group, you're gonna to want to work with the groups endpoint um, and a lot of the stuff you're gonna do related to the actual team is gonna leverage the group's endpoint. But you also are gonna use the team endpoint um, as well on Microsoft Graph. To create the group using the Microsoft Graph endpoint, you're gonna to go to the groups endpoint by submitting an HTTP post with the group's details. And you see those listed here in this code sample on the slide. Uh, two things to take a note of, or actually three things to take note of here. You should set the group types uh, equal to unified, set the mail enabled equal to true, and the security enabled property to false. Those are all gonna be required uh, for to upsize a Microsoft 365 group to a team. Notice too that we're also setting the members collection and the owners collection, and those contain the GUIDs of the uh, object ID of the actual users that we wanna set as being the owners and members uh, in this group. Once the group has been created, you then convert it to a Microsoft team with the team's endpoint. To do this, submit an HTTP post that includes the ID of the Microsoft 365 group to convert it to a team. And you're gonna submit that to the team's endpoint. To list all the teams in an organization or a tenant, you find all the groups that have teams and then get the information for each team. Start by submitting a request for a list of all the groups. To get a list of all the groups in an organization that have teams, get a list of all the groups, and then in the code, find the ones that have the resource provisioning options property that contains a team. Groups are very large objects, so you may want to use the select query parameter to only get the properties of the group that you care about. To get the details of a specific team, use the groups endpoint and specify the group by its ID, as you can see here. When working with Microsoft Teams uh, support in Microsoft Graph, keep in mind that a team has two kinds of IDs. The group ID for a team is in the for format of a GUID, while the team ID can be in the format of the Skype ID, such as 19 colon some ID at thread.skype. You can also get a list of all using Microsoft Graph of all the teams that a current user has currently joined. Some APIs related to Microsoft Teams exposed by the Microsoft Graph access sensitive data, and these are considered protected APIs, and they require more validation beyond the typical permissions and consent other APIs require. In order for your app to use one of these protected APIs, you must submit a request to Microsoft for review, and you can learn more about the protected APIs, including which APIs are included in this list and the review process from the Microsoft uh, Graph uh, documentation link that you see here on the slide. 